What is going on guys? Welcome back to Southwest Fishing. So the other day I went fishing, I caught three different species of fish. You guys will see all of that in just a minute here. And I caught them all on the baby bull shad. The cool thing is, is that baby bull shad will catch anything. I had to use a baby bull shad because the baby bull gill that I previously had from a mystery tackle box, I lost that sucker and unfortunately I didn't have anything else to uh, use other than the baby bull shad. But uh, I started catching a few fish on it, had a few followers, uh, got a couple bites, but at the end of the day, I got, I believe, four or five fish. I got a couple bites and uh, had the opportunity to get like six, seven fish, but eh, it is what it is. Really cool thing is uh, two of the species, totally unexpected, especially one of them. I, I foul hooked one and I actually hooked one uh, probably just spooked that species and it just grabbed it out of nowhere but you guys will see that in just a second here really really awesome day didn't really expect to catch much but you know caught a few fish on it and I also picked up a bunch of those baby bull gills on uh, shopcarls.com they just restocked a ton of them so if you guys want any make sure you guys go check them out they are insane insane lures you can use them year round they catch fish all year round because every time of year bass eat bluegills doesn't matter if it's big little it doesn't matter they eat bluegills and with the baby bull shad they also have a rainbow trout color and in a lot of ponds during the winter especially around the valley they stock all the ponds with trout so you can use that rainbow trout baby bull shad and catch a lot of bass with that specific color and that specific lure awesome awesome technique and awesome bait overall so make sure you guys go check that out other than that i greatly appreciate every single one of you guys for hopping on board to the channel i greatly appreciate it we just hit over 1800 subs that is insane i never thought i'd get this far this quickly since i started youtube other than that enough talking let's get to the fishing hope you guys enjoy make sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification and enjoy Alright guys, so we're at a pond that probably looks pretty familiar. I mean, we did the last video over at these couple ponds and did pretty well on the baby bull gill. Unfortunately, I did lose that baby bull, uh, baby bull gill when I was here last time. So, I have a small baby bull shad on. We're going to see if it can replicate the same bite. It's not a bluegill imitation. It's more of a, I'd say, tilapia imitation for these specific ponds. But there's a ton of tilapia in here and there's a ton of like three, four inch ones. So, if the bass are going to eat those, I am assuming that they're going to eat these. Obviously, the bluegill is more of a uh, bass snack, but I mean, they still eat tilapia, so I do feel pretty confident with this lure. One thing about the baby bull shed is it's a lot more erratic and it has much more of a swimming motion rather than the baby bull gill. The baby bull gill is more subtle and flows through the water column much better. That's at least just what I noticed, but I still think this should get big. It's a smaller presentation too, so if the fish are wanting a decent sized snack, they should want this technically more than the baby bull gill because it is a smaller, smaller presentation. Oh my gosh, literally right here guys a fish came up and grabbed it right here holy crap oh my goodness why couldn't he grab that it was literally just right on my feet i don't know if you guys are able to see that because the water is really murky but that's wicked with the polarized sunglasses that's a decent fish too oh there we go there we go guys oh my gosh that's what i'm talking about how hard that fish hit it I don't know what this is. I may have foul hooked the carp. No, it's just a nice bass. Nice fish. That is wicked. Let's get him up. Let's get him back in here. Man. Look at this fish, guys. That's a good one right there. Look at that. Wicked fish. That's like a three pounder right there. Check this fish out, guys. Killer fish. Look at that. This fish got some shoulders on him. He's got some red lips. He's eating some crustaceans. Fish is getting girthy. That springtime, real healthy pond bass. That is wicked. Let's get him right back in. I'd be careful with a fish like this. This fish right here is the style of fish that allows these ponds to reproduce for years and years to come. We're gonna have to put them back over here. 
wicked. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Holy crap. How he just grabbed that and took off? Exactly what I wanted. What a fish. What a fish. Stay back in this canal area, kind of hide out. Hope that maybe there's a little largey nearby. Right there, a little largey nearby. A little largey nearby. A little largey nearby. Eating it on the drop. Oh my gosh, the head shake. Oh, it's a big cat. Oh, it's a carp. A carp ate it, guys. A freaking carp. A carp ate the baby bull shad. Here, I'm gonna bring this sucker over here. He ate the baby bull shad. I thought it was like a 10 pound bass right off the bat. I was freaking out. I was like, no way. Guys, this, this carp ate the baby bull shad. Not only does it catch bass, not only does it catch catfish and other fish, it catches, what is that, maybe a 15 pound carp? Perfect release. Man, that's freaking awesome. That was awesome. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to get that fish up, so I'm gonna technically count him, just because there's no way I would have been able to get him up without a net. How cool is that? I mean, on the drop, and he freaking grabs it. It's like maybe, maybe, maybe it spooked him, and he just said, ah, screw it. Let me eat this thing real fast, but that was crazy. Guys, legitimately, guys, literally, I literally just casted this out, and I think I hooked another carp. I mean, I legitimately just casted it out. It hit the water, and whatever this is, just grabbed it right away. I believe it's another carp. This is how it's fighting. I've, I think this time I foul hooked him. All right, yeah, that was a carp for sure, foul hooked. Man, what's up with these carp? That's crazy. Man, if I had a baby bull gill, not a doubt in my mind I would have caught a fish at that last spot. Just something about how it swims. It swims so much better than the bull shad. And, I mean, it's a bluegill. What bass doesn't want to eat a bluegill? Caught a few fish out of here on, uh, on drop shots. Right near this pump, just like that. That's a decent bass right there. That's a decent one. Oh, come on, you're good. Oh, I foul hooked him. I think he went for it, but he just got foul hooked. You're good, bro, you're good, you're good, you're good. Stay calm, you're good. Oh no, did he eat it? I can't tell. Gosh, I'm gonna, I'm just afraid it's gonna pop off. Jeez. There we go. Man, look at that. Decent fish right there. Not too bad. That's awesome right there. That's a really pretty fish. And that sucker is just on the basic baby bull shad. Nothing too special. Really good, fat, little quality fish. That is fun. Let's get him back in. Grow big, bro. Thanks for the bite. Greedy. I'm a greedy fisherman. We'll do one last cast. I'm gonna let this hit the bottom, retrieve it all the way. If I lose it, I lose it. There we go. The second I picked it up off the bottom, you guys saw that. It was literally just sitting there on the bottom. And then the second that I started the retrieval, literally half a turn, it picked it up. It just thought maybe it was a dead fish. And then the second it saw it move, created that reaction strike. And we hooked this sucker way in the heck out there. So we got a long way to go. He's coming in, he's coming in. Looks like a, what is that? Catfish. Catfish that's tweaking. Crazy aggressive catfish. Man. Fatty catfish too, holy freaking crap. Jeez, look at this. This is a, that is a mama of a catfish right there. Holy crap, 
on the baby bowl shad. What did I tell you guys? I was probably gonna catch a catfish. Freaking, let me get a little bit of light on this just so you guys could see this before I unhook it. it. This is a nice catfish right here. I mean, check that out. Good color, really healthy catfish, fat as can be. Now let's get this sucker off and get her back in because that's clearly a female that's number one been chewing. Look at the catfish, really healthy, good quality. One thing you guys will learn about me, I am a giant, giant chicken when it comes to catfish. I do not like dealing with them. She went right up into this little hole. As you guys can tell, I am a giant chicken when it comes to catfish because every single time I try to handle them properly the way that you're supposed to handle them, I get stuck and I don't like getting stuck by them. So, therefore, I use pliers and I keep my distance and I'm a chicken. All right guys, so as you guys just saw, caught a couple bass, a couple decent ones, not too bad. Uh, I did have a couple short biters. I didn't really show those that much. Uh, I don't like showing when I get bit because it's just, it's not really any action unless the fish actually follows it up and you guys might have the opportunity to see the fish in the actual clip. But uh, other than that, the carp was awesome. I just casted that sucker and literally the second it hit the water, that spark, that carp probably got spooked and just grabbed and took off with it. That was insane. That was really, really fun. On top of that, at the very, very end of the day, the catfish, I know it was a little bit dark in that clip, but that catfish was really healthy and uh, was full of eggs. I mean, cat catfish, they like to spawn during April and May, so they're getting around that spawning time too. I don't know, in the ponds, they might spawn a little bit sooner, but that was a fat freaking catfish and a pretty healthy one at that. I mean, I cast that sucker out, it was on the bottom and literally the first half of retrieval, that fish was, he just must have been right there. And the second I moved it, it was just a reaction strike and he grabbed it and, and fought like mad. I mean, that bait was out there for a long way. So it was a pretty long retrieval and a pretty good fight that that fish put up. I had a lot of fun. The couple bass that I caught were decent quality fish. So overall, I had a good day. I mean, I was out for a couple hours, so can't really complain. You catch four fish in a couple hours, especially just pond hop, and you're not really expecting to catch a whole lot. It ends up being a pretty good day and pretty pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's not a whole lot of fish action in it, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any other ideas for any future videos, please let me know down in the comments, and I will try to do every single style of video that you guys want me to do, because that's the whole point of this channel is to entertain you guys the best of my abilities and what better way to entertain you guys than to actually do what you guys want me to do, if that makes any sense. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and as always, we'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.